I'm Kathy with Usborne Books and More. Thank you so much for coming to the Facebook party tonight. I'm really glad you're here. This video is specifically to showcase books for babies and toddlers. If that's not the age range that you're shopping for tonight, just wait a minute and there will be more links posted below to other age groups. Or feel free to keep watching and maybe you'll find a wonderful book you can give as a gift. We have a lot of books that have touchy-feely sections and that's what I want to go over with you first. This particular book is from my, these, all of these books are from my personal library. This one is called Baby's Very First Touchy Feely Book. It has been well loved in my house with both of my daughters. Very bright colors, very simple pages. Each page has a tactile spot for baby to touch and get familiar with the different colors and animal names. And then at the end you get to review together. It's short, babies love it. We also have a line of books called That's Not My. It has over 30 books in the line now. This is These are two that I have in my library, That's Not My Plane and That's Not My Bear. We have a lot of gender neutral ones like these. We also have ones that are specifically geared towards boys, like That's Not My Tractor, That's Not My Pirate, or geared towards girls, That's Not My Mermaid, that sort of thing. I really enjoy these because they have lots of different tactile spots and there is a mouse hiding on every page that baby gets to help you find. There he's parachuting. At the end you always find the one that's yours. That's my plane. Its windows are so shiny. And we have That's Not My Bear because it has different types of tactiles and I thought that was fun that they get to touch some soft fuzzy things too. That's Not My Bear. His claws are too shiny and That's My Bear. His ears are so fluffy. That mouse just gets into everything. This is a newer line that we have, Baby's Very First Touchy Feely Animals Playbook. We also have uh, Baby's Very First Touchy Feely Colors as well. This one, my 19 month old has been loving. It's lots of different fun spots to touch, to see, bright colors, and she really likes running her finger over these little swoopy lines. This one's been a lot of fun for us. But finally, um, last but not least, I should say, Animal Hide and Seek has probably been the favorite in our house, and you will see that as I show you the pages. It is well loved, but it holds up really nicely. Every page has a different tactile spot, and there's a little peekaboo to find the animal that you're looking for. They're all hiding somewhere, and at the end you have to find Poppy and Sam who are hiding. This one I highly recommend to get for you or to give as a gift. It's been wonderful. We also have some books for babies that are not tactile, but they are fun to read together. Find the Bird specifically. I bought this a few years ago. This one is out of print, but we also have Find the Duck. It's the very same idea. There's a bird in here hiding on every page, and you and your baby get to find him. He's in all different sorts of spots, and at the end you can review, look back, and find things together and practice counting as well. This one I got, again, a few years ago, and it is still in print. We have this one, and both my girls love this book. We just read it again today. Um, Baba ba Black Sheep, just simple classic rhymes that are easy to review, and you probably have memorized. Some of them you'll be surprised that you knew and you forgot. This one is wonderful. For little babies who have little hands, we have some little books. This one is from a box set called Big and Little. It comes in a set of four. I cannot find the other three because they are getting played with all the time. But we love this set there. It's always one parent with the baby. This one is dad and his cub and all the things they do together during their day and they always end up going to sleep together at night. And finally we have this set of books, My Animal World, this specific set isn't made anymore. They split it up into two sets of My Farm Animal World and My Wild Animal World. But these ones are fun because they are little and chunky. So they're like blocks almost. You take them out and it tells you just a little bit about the animal. I'm a horse. I have a stable. I eat hay. I neigh. Very fun, and then the baby gets to slide it back in the box to match it with the animal. And it's magnet to shut it. Very easy and fun. 
This book is called Night Night Stories. This one is, uh, specifically this one is out of print. They just reboxed it and renamed it. It's called Baby's Bedtime Story Box. They took each of these stories and made it its own separate book. You can go through and see it's all these animals who say good night to their parent. It's very sweet. Lots of really nice illustrations and the stories are very sweet. We have Lift the Flat books too for toddlers as they're getting more familiar with what colors are. Lots of fun little flaps for the baby to open. I should say the toddler to open. In the busy town, they do color counting. And what have they lost? You can peekaboo and find what they were looking for. This one's been a lot of fun. And finally, I want to show you some of, well, this is one of our picture books. This is in a line of books. This one's called On the Moon. We also have one called By the Sea. And very sturdy pages, very simple sentences, very basic, beautiful illustrations. The moon is very far away. Astronauts sometimes go exploring in moon buggies. They collect moon rocks to bring back home. Just nice, easy stories that are so beautiful, nice big pages to look at, very fun. If you have any questions on any of these or any questions on any other books, just comment below and let me know. Thanks very much.